So in this video, we will learn how to save new attachments in Gmail to Dropbox. Now suppose guys on a regular basis you are getting lots and lots of emails on your Gmail account and you also get some files attached with this email. Now to keep the backup you want to add those attached files into Dropbox but the panel process is very much repetitive and time consuming. So basically you can automate this complete process and the trigger of this automation will be receiving of new email on your Gmail account. So as we receive a new email automatically the files attached with that email will be uploaded in your Dropbox account as a backup. Now guys how you can set up this automation? To know this you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we'll go to our browser and search for pabbly pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabbly. And here we have to click on access now below Pabbly Connect. Now as we click on access now, we will reach to the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. Now here just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name this workflow as Gmail to Dropbox and click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of all the mails, all the emails which we are receiving on our Gmail account in Pabbly Connect. Then after that, after doing this, using Public Connect, we will send the attachments which are coming with that mail. Like all the attached file receive, which we are receiving in that mail, we will uh, send those files to Dropbox so we can store them in one place easily. So guys, here to get the details of the emails which we are receiving on our Gmail account with the attachments, we will be using a feature of Public Connect that is email parser. So select email parser in your trigger window. After selecting email parser, now we can see that we have received an email address in this Pabbly Connect workflow. Now guys, the idea here is, first, we will add this email address. So all the mails sent on this email address given by Pabbly Connect, we, can, we will basically receive all of those mails in Pabbly Connect workflow over here. So in this trigger window response, we will receive all the emails, all the data sent on this email address. So what we are going to do, we are going to forward all the emails sent on our Gmail account to this email address. So whenever we will receive a new email in our Gmail account, that same email will also be forwarded on this email address. Then after that, all the mails sent on this email address, we will receive those email address data, those newly received mails, emails data in Pabbly Connect workflow. So after receiving that new email in Pabbly Connect, we will basically take the file attachment, which is attached the attached file in this and that mail, and we will uh, using Public Connect, we will send that file or add that file in our Dropbox. So how we are going to do this? Let me show you. Just copy this email from here given by email parser by Pavli, and after that, just go to your Gmail account. So this is my Gmail account, and then here on the right side, we can see a settings option over here. Click on settings and click on see all settings. After clicking on see all settings, here we have an option named as forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Select this and at top here we have an option named as forwarding. Click on this add a forwarding address button and then paste this email address which email parser gave us over here and then click on next. So here just click on proceed and now we can see that the forwarding address is added. Now as a confirmation, Gmail has sent an email on this with an OTP verification, OTP for verification on this email address. Which email address? The email address which Public Connect's email parser gave us. So as I have told you guys, all the emails sent on this email address are received inside Public Connect workflow, this particular workflow. So basically in this workflow, we can see that we have received a response. And in this response, we will see we have received an email from Gmail team. And we will scroll down, we will find the details of this mail received on this email address. So we will scroll down and here we have the body text of that mail. When we will expand it, we will find that this is the OTP which Gmail team has sent for verification of email forwarding. Just copy this OTP from here, go to your Gmail account and paste it over here as in the place of confirmation code and click on verify. 
Now guys, as we click on verify, we have successfully added that email address for forwarding. Now by default, it is selected disable forwarding, then switch it to forward a copy of incoming email to this email address, which we have just now added. And we just also want to keep the copy of that same email address, which we have received on our Gmail account in Gmail as well. Just select this and click on save changes. And that's it guys. Now here in, uh, on the top side, you can see that all the emails on this Gmail account of mine are now forwarded to this email address. And all the emails sent on this email address are received inside Pavli Connect. So whenever I will receive a new email in this account, that details of the same email will also be forwarded in Pavli Connect over here using email parser. So guys, what we are going to do using some other account, some other the dummy account, we will send a test email on this email address of mine. That is Michael Karas 481. I will just copy this email address, go to a new tab. And here we are going to switch our Gmail account. So I have a Gmail account named as Joe Daniels. We will switch to this Gmail account. Just go to Gmail. And now using this account of Joe Daniel, we are going to send an email, a test email to Michael Karas with an attachment. And after that, we will see that in Pavli Connect, just click on this recapture email pass or response button. So here in Pavli Connect, as we receive a new email in Michael Karas account, this first account of ours, the same email, the response of same email will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's compose a mail. So we are going to send this mail to Michael Karas. Let's paste the email address. So the subject line is just testing. And the body of the email is we are just testing email parser. And after that, after adding this email, guys, basically, basically, we have to attach a file over here. So here, I will just attach a new file, for example, an image file, which I have already downloaded in my system. This is the happy birthday candle image file. Let's click on open. And now we will see that I have attached a file in this email. Let's click on send. So just now from some another dummy account, I have sent an email to my account on which I am setting up this automation. So we have successfully sent the mail. And here within few seconds, we will see that that mail will be received. Let's refresh it once. And yes, from Joe Daniels, we have received an email in our email account. That is Michael Kazda, our main account on which we are setting up this automation. So this is the same mail the subject line is testing. We are just test testing email parser and we have also received an image as an attachment in this mail. Now, because we have added forwarding in this uh, Gmail account, guys, we will see that the same mail will also be forwarded to Pavli Connect. So let's go to Pavli Connect. And here in Pavli Connect, we will see that we have received some response over here. And in this response, we will see that we have received an email from Joey Daniel. So this is the email address of Joey Daniel. Then we have the subject line of the email which we have sent that is testing the same subject line which we have added while sending the email. Then we will scroll down. So we'll find some other details regarding the mail and then we will have the body of the mail. So in the body text section, we have the actual body of the email which we have sent. So we have just simply sent, we are just testing email parser. So that's the body of the email. And at last, the last field is of the attachment link. So the document which you have attached with this email, we have the link, the URL of that attached document. Just copy this URL from here, go to a new tab and paste it over here. Let's click on enter and we will see that this is the same image which we have sent using email to our e Gmail account. So this is the same email which we have sent. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully received the emails which are sent on to us on our Gmail account in Pavli Connect and also received the attachment, the link or the file URLs of the attachment which are added with those emails which are sent to us. So after receiving the attachment files and all the new email data in Pavli Connect, we have to send the attachment file to Dropbox. Now to do so, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Dropbox. Dropbox it is. And after that, in action event from the drop down, select upload file. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now guys, here we have to connect our Dropbox account with Pavli Connect. Now to do so, just click on this connect with Dropbox button. And because I have already logged into my Dropbox account in my browser over here, we will see that Pavli Connect has detected the very same account and made the connection. After making the connection, it is asking us for the file URL that what is the URL of the file which we are uploading. So guys, we have received the attached file, the file which we want to add upload to Dropbox from the responses of email processor. 
the so we have received the details of the new email sent to us on gmail account we have received the email in public and using email password and this is the url of the file so we have to basically map this same file link over here in this file url section and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field over here and from the drop down from the responses of email password we can see that all the responses of new email receiving new email which we have received from email parser can be seen over here and out of all of this responses select the response of attachment link attached file and map it over here the last response then after this it is asking us file name so here in the, the help text below it says name of the file with proper file ex extension so we have to give a name for this file which we are mapping over here and after naming it we also have to add the extension of that particular file so guys uh, we have received the extension in the uh, let me show you we have received the extension in the image url so here in the url we have dot jpg like right? whatever the format of the file will be we will have the extension over here so we have to just extract the same extension from here now how to get this how to extract the dot extension from this complete file name or file link basically attachment link so to do so we will use a feature of public connect that is text formatter just click on this add action step button over here and after that here in choose app from the drop down just uh, search for text formatter text formatter it is after selecting text formatter by pabli in action event from the drop down select split text click on connect now after selecting split text it is asking us text to split so we have to basically map this attachment link the response of this attachment link over here uh, from which we want to get the file extension so just click on this field and from the drop down below just map the attachment link over here after mapping it it is asking us for the separator so the separator will be the dot before the jpg the before the file extension the dot and in segment index we will select last and just click on save and send test request now as we click on save and send test request over here now we can see that in response result we have the file extension so whatever file format we will rec be receiving in email on our gmail account that's with the same format we will be having the extension in the attachment link so from the attachment link we have received the extension now but still it is asking us for the file name so like for example just assume that i want to name the file as the name of the person who has sent the email so we have the name of the person who has sent the email received from gmail using email parser in public connect so this is the name of the person so i want to add the name of the person and after the dot we will add the file extension so we have to map this name of the person over here in this file name field just click on this and from the email parser responses select the name of the person then after that manually enter the dot and from the text formatter responses map the file extension so the name of the file which we will be uploading will be basically the name of the person who sent it dot and the file extension the format of the file after entering the name of the file it is asking us folder path that in which folder on our dropbox account we want to upload this file so here the folder of my dropbox account let me show you in my dropbox account i have several folders but i have specifically created a dedicated folder named as email attachments so we just have to copy this path so after dropbox from this slash we have to actually copy the complete path like here it is this is only the path but if you have created some sub folders also in your dropbox account like the folder inside folder inside a folder and if you want to upload those files over there just copy the complete path of your dropbox folder in which you want to store and paste it over here you can refer to the same thing over here in the help text so if you have any question or any confusion regarding the folder path you can refer to the help text after entering the folder path just click on save and send test request so as we click on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the file which we have received on our gmail account as an email that same file is using this automation is now uploaded in our dropbox account so let's check it we'll go to dropbox and yes guys we can see that in our same folder named as email attachment which we have selected whose path we have entered we have a new file over here and this is the same file which we have received on email on our gmail account this means guys the automation which you have created in this video is working perfectly fine now using this automation whenever we will receive a new email on our gmail account the attachment file of that email will be automatically uploaded on our dropbox account 
So let's guys, let's get back to Pabli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this simple automation. So first guys, we have created a workflow in Pabli Connect. And after creating the workflow in the trigger window, we have selected Pabli Connect feature that is email parser. So email parser gave us an e email address. Then we added that email address in our Gmail account and basically forwarded all the emails which we are receiving on our Gmail account to that email parser email address. And all the emails sent to this email parser email address are received inside this particular public connect workflow. And after receiving the new email response, we have basically received the attachment link of that particular file. So from a test user, from a dummy account, some other account, we have sent a test email, received the response and received the file attachment link. Then from that link, we have sent the details of the newly received file to Dropbox and to add the name of the file, which are, we are going to upload in Dropbox, we have basically extracted the file extension of that, the format of the file from that attachment link using the text formatter, a feature of Public Connect using text formatter split text. So not just these applications guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Public Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.